Okay, I thought I'd put this video together just to help explain some of the wannabe backyard foundrymen out there. Um, a little bit about green sand. I'm not an expert, but I know a little bit and I'll pass it on regardless. First of all, let's start with the sand. Sand is, uh, is important in the fact that you need to get the right stuff. Uh, mainly, you need a washed sand because uh, there's a lot of sands out there that aren't washed and they contain dirt and, and clay. The next thing would probably be grain size. You really need a fine sand. The finer the sand, the better the finish will be. Okay, so here we have two sands. Uh, the one on the left, that's the first sand I used. It's a uh, washed beach sand. And the one on the, the right, this is what I'm using now, which is a much, much finer grade sand. And you also need what they call a sharp sand. And basically that comes down to the surface of the grain of sand. The surface on sand can either be smooth or rough. Sharp sand is known as the rough because it's smooth, it, it tends to not bite together. If it's got a rough surface, um, it can grip a little bit better. So you need a fine, sharp sand. Okay, the next thing would be your bentonite clay. Bentonite is widely used because it's a particularly sticky type of clay. So the stickier it is, the less you actually use. The next thing is terraflake. Terraflake, I don't know too much about terraflake. Somebody gave me the terraflake that I have. Because I had it, I didn't really look into where to get it from. I did Google it, but all I could come up with was floor coverings for some reason. Um, I didn't look into it too much, so if there's anyone out there out there can tell us what Terraflake is, what I've got, um, that would be a great help. Uh, you don't use too much water. You need enough, but not too much. So the recipe I have I use uh, 25 kilos of sand, 1.5 kilos of bentonite clay, uh, 0.5 kilos of terraflake, and 500 to 800 milliliters of water. 500 if it's cool when you're casting, 800 if it's warm to hot. Um, obviously due to evaporation and I find that is, is a very is a very good green sand. Mixing the sand is quite important. Um, there are two ways that we can mix the sand. One would be in a mulling machine and one would be on a tarp on the floor by hand. It's important to note that you're not just mixing. You actually have to mull it as well and that's why it's mixed in a mulling machine because it mixes and mulls it, rubs it together. When it rubs it together, it activates the bentonite and it all becomes nice and fluffy and uh, sticks very well. Uh, there are two ways that we can mix this sand or the ingredients. One is we lay out a tarp. We put all the ingredients on the tarp and then we roll the edges in, mix in the sand from one side to the other and then from the top to the bottom. Once all the ingredients are mixed together, it's then time to add the water. Note, you don't add the water before you mix everything up. You use a mister, a spray bottle, and you put your amount of water you need in there and you just spray it on and then you continue to roll the sand and ingredients around until you actually use up all the water and everything in the mix. Then probably the most important part, which people don't really think of is, is you actually have to activate the bentonite and this is done by just smashing it just beating it up with the back of a spade uh, this needs to be done a fair bit depending on the amount of sand that's actually being mixed you know you could be there 15 20 minutes just smashing this sand up and then rolling it and smashing it and then rolling it over and smashing it uh, you'll work up a bit of a sweat so uh, that's probably the best way to do it if you're just a small time backyarder and you don't have a lot of castings to do, just a little bit every now and again. I, on the other hand, 
I think I'll be mixing something in the vicinity of say two to three hundred kilos and I have a lot to cast. I think in the region of uh, a thousand kilos of aluminium is what I'll be pouring. So I'll need a fair bit and because of that I decided to build a mulling machine. Um, this is the mulling machine. It's a very simple thing to make. Uh, basically you've got mixing blades and then you've got round wheels which are quite heavy and they actually they're actually what mulls it so you've got the mixing blades and then the mulling wheels and the rotation I've got on this the motor is I think the RPMs is about 1450 and I have a 60 to 1 reduction on it if that helps using the sand muller is a lot easier uh, basically you just tip in your ingredients, turn it on, let it mix for about five minutes. Once it's all mixed thoroughly through, just slowly add your water. Once all the water is added, just uh, let it mix for about another 10-15 minutes and uh, stop the mixer. Uh, try your sand. Basically it's supposed to break evenly. Um, nice clean cuts uh, it doesn't break in little pieces and uh, this is probably a little bit wet I did add the 800 mils of water into this basically because this is going to sit overnight and I probably won't use it until tomorrow so if we're happy with the final result we just remove the little trap door from underneath and all the sand will fall into the bucket below and now it's ready to use.